is Patrick Golden with MasterReport.com with crew goalkeeper William Hesmer. Uh, Preseason training, some new faces. Uh, what, what do you uh, see as the, the team's ultimate goal this year? How close is the Cup, do you think? You know, I, I don't think the Cup's uh, out of reach. I think that's a fair goal. Uh, obviously, we're going to take it one game at a time. We never get too far ahead of ourselves. Uh, one foot in front of the other, but... Uh, you know, looking at our looking at our roster and uh, the talent and the abilities, if uh, we can maximize it, I don't I don't think that's uh, I don't think that's far-reaching goal. Um, losing a few players, uh, Rogers, uh, uh, Mendoza, uh, some goal scoring and some offense. Uh, do you guys on the defense have a little bit of concern that uh, maybe have to be extra tight and uh, that the offense needs to uh, maybe improve? You know, I think we are missing a lot of goals from one guy, um, but uh, we didn't get a lot of goals from elsewhere. And, it, and you know, it, it came down to uh, if, can we get forwards in there who are going to link up and involve other players and make everybody dangerous versus just themselves dangerous. So, uh, you know, I think that's that's what we need. We have guys who are capable of scoring, and Eddie Gavin and Dilly Duca, and I think Bernardo's uh, prime for a good year. Maybe Justin Merrim. Uh, gets in there and takes his chances, but uh, you know, hopefully we we get some forwards in there who combine and get everybody involved. And uh, you know, I think that'll only lead to more success from us. And now, you be considered a veteran on this team. How does your role evolve? As you know, you're one of the people that uh, the players are looking to, the coaches are looking to, to really kind of guide the team. You know, as a goalkeeper, you know, you're naturally have to be a leader back there. So uh, since day one, I've been pretty vocal and. And uh, that's just been more, more of an on the field type thing. But now it translates off the field. You know, I've been through a lot of big games and uh, the good, you know, the great moments here in Columbus and uh, have a lot of uh, experience to share with younger guys. And um, now that we have a good, you know, homegrown guy in Lampson, there's, you know, I, I'm eager to, to share my experiences with him and bring him along. Um, but yeah, it's a different thing, and it was a new thing for us last year. And I think we uh, we grew as the year went on, and we're ready to keep taking the next step forward as a leadership group. And uh, lastly, a couple articles recently have talked about a, a positive energy around this team. It's uh, maybe more about the people who are here rather than the people who aren't here, uh, like last off season. Um, do, you, do you guys get a sense that uh, you know the, there's a lot of hope and a, uh, and a lot of uh, positive change? Uh, yeah, you know, there's always going to be changes. There's always going to be turnover. Uh, some years are tougher than others. Um, but, uh, you know, it's always been Columbus's way, I believe, to be to be, to be be more of a sum of our parts. I mean, we, we don't want to be individuals on the field. We don't want to, you know, we're not in it for our individual glory or our own names. You know, we want to be in there for the crew, and, and we want to do it as a team, battling it each, each and every game. And, uh, I think we lost that there for a little bit. Uh, we got caught up with a little bit of the names on the back versus the names on the front. And uh, we're, we're going to try and change that and make sure that it's a uh, complete team effort every game and no team wants to play us. Thank you very much, William. This is Patrick Golden with MassiveReport.com. Ben, uh, talk a little bit about uh, your academy career uh, coming to the uh, first team, but uh, a little bit of time with the uh, crew academy. Yeah, um played with the academy team for two years in high school. Um, we went to the academy finals my first year and the second year we made it to the regionals. And then um, after high school, I played with the U20 team and the U19 team um, with the 20, well, with the 19s won the national championship and with the 20s won the national championship twice. So yeah, it was pretty success successful. Uh, probably a, a, a good thing coming to it as I understand an Ohio native. Um, crew fan growing up as I understand, correct? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I've been to my fair share of crew games um, uh, throughout my years uh, since I was eight. Uh, I've been coming to games. I don't know how many, but I've been to quite a few. Uh, did you have any flavor, favorite players growing up that uh, you looked towards? Anybody on the team that you're still uh, kind of, uh, you know, paying attention to? Yeah. <clears throat> I mean, when I was little, um, I was a forward, so I liked all the guys that scored the goals. Um, Dante Washington and Brian McBride. I mean, all the Jeff Cunningham, all the guys that were scoring the goals I watched mostly. Um, and then now, I mean, obviously I knew all the guys on this team. I mean, I've been following the crew for my whole life pretty much. So I knew all the veterans, Eddie Gavin and all those guys. And it's, it's, uh, it's awesome to play with them finally. And uh, it's a good experience. So uh, moving on to a little bit of college, you know, some time at Akron, uh, championship at North Carolina. So the, the crew homegrown offer came 
probably at the right time considering uh, your college career. Um, something you seem excited to jump on? Yeah, a- absolutely. I mean, um, when the homegrown offer came, I just sat down with my parents and uh, we figured that this was the best thing for me right now. Um, it was a great opportunity. I didn't want to pass it up. Um, I wanted to play for the crew. Um, and, yeah, it was, it, was the right, it was the right thing for me to do. Uh, and uh, how you how have you felt so far? You know, a couple days into training, you know, a week into conditioning, uh, your first pro experiences. No, it's great. I mean, I love it. Uh, just to come here every day and do it do what I love. I mean, it's a dream come true. Um, and the level is higher. I, I like being challenged. Um, I like to push myself, and uh, it's been great. It's it's everything I thought it was going to be. Thank you very much, Ben. Ethan, uh, talk a little bit about your uh, college career, a bit of a goal scorer at Creighton, um, what what your game was at the college level. Yeah, you know, I played in a 4-3-3 system, um, and I kind of I started usually started in the middle, um, but always had the freedom to go out wide, you know, left or right, whichever, and, and we had really good interchange, um, which I think helped me, uh, you know, being a big guy, I'm not a center forward kind of type of guy that's going to hold up the ball necessarily. Um, so, you know, that was kind of the, the style that we played, and it really helped me a lot because I had a lot of, a real quick guys actually on the end and I mean uh, to be honest with you I think I had quite a few just tap ins as the ball came across um, you know we tried to attack from the flanks and a lot of times I found myself in the right spot at the right time you know in the middle of the goal and uh, so it seems like you have a lot of flexibility playing out wide uh, playing in the middle is there any place that you particularly feel comfortable with uh, coming into uh, maybe a little uh, less of a 4-3-3 four, uh, four, three, three system but something a little bit more to the quit the crew play yeah you know Robert uh, I kind of alluded to that I'll probably be playing out wide as a winger, uh, either left or right, or, you know, possibly a second forward underneath a, a big forward, um, you know, and kind of being a slasher. So both those roles I'm very comfortable in. I haven't played uh, out wide in a 4-4-2 system in a while, um, but I'm excited for that challenge, you know what I mean, to, to get used to that, the defensive roles that you have to, to you know, the responsibilities that you have and things like that. Um, and then as well, I know, I know being, you know, a 4-4-2, being a slasher, I played that in club. Um, type of thing underneath a big forward and things like that and really enjoy that role. So I'm looking forward to wherever, you know, coach wants to use me and and I'll just, you know, do what I can when I get in that position. Uh, Talking with some people about your college career, uh, people who followed you closely, uh, come in with a very high reputation and uh, a lot of expectations that you might be able to make an impact this year. Is that something that you're, uh, you really look to get into the 18 or even the 11 certain, uh, certain games to really try to push for playing time day one? Yeah, you know, I have very high personal goals for myself as well as this team, um, and I, I don't want to ever be satisfied. I want to be able to push my teammates in front of me as well as myself. Um, so by, you know, getting in the 18 and, and pushing guys, you know, to, you know, get a starting spot, um, I think we'll make only make our team better. And obviously for my personal goals, I, I want to make an impact on this team, you know, as soon as possible. Um, but, you know, another thing is always being positive no matter what role you have. Um, and that's, I think, something that in my first year I want to make sure I have a good positive attitude about, you know, regardless if, you know, you come from being playing four straight years and starting every game to, you know, you could spend your whole, you know, year on the bench in the MLS games, but you always have to be focused when you get the opportunity. So I'm looking forward to that, and I think we have some great uh, veterans here that can help us out and help the rookies uh, go, uh, I guess, keep our focus, I think, throughout the, the long season that it is. And then uh, now a week into to training and uh, some practice. How are you adjusting? You know, the pro game is a little bit different. Uh, how are you feeling so far? I, honestly, I feel great. Uh, you know, besides playing on in the turf a little hard on your legs, but uh, it's great. I, I think that when you play with great players, you, your level just goes that much higher. Um, I, I'm a quick guy myself, and uh, you know, I like to, to ping the ball and move, and, and I move off the ball. And that's what this level is all about. Uh, it's quick, you know, movement, and and you got to be act, you know, quickly on the ball. And so I, I love it. I love the pace. Um, you know, practices have been good, and like I alluded to, just I think some great guys in this locker room, which makes it that much easier. Thank you very much, Ethan. Yeah, thank you.